Hello everyone, it's Talk About It Tuesday, and as many of you know, this Friday is the tree lighting, and Saturday is the Christmas parade, and I'm here with Miss Judy Sims from the Cabarrus County Humane Society. Judy, we are here to talk about why it is not a great idea to bring our furry little family members to the Christmas tree lighting or the parade. Can you help advise us why that's not the right thing to do? Absolutely. It's never a good idea to bring your pet who may be very well trained to stay by your side when you're out on walks or out at the park to an event that's full of noise and a lot of different people and excitement and maybe fireworks because they will spook easily. Even the best trained dog will spook very easily and they'll run off, maybe get hit by a car. It'll be difficult to find them. They could be out overnight and freeze to death. So in the past, have you seen that there's an issue with this? Even here in Concord, after the tree lighting with fireworks, always an issue. Yeah. So, folks, this has been a problem in the past here in Concord. Yeah, we, we see a lot of dogs and cats coming into the shelter that have been lost. Some of them have tags on, some of them don't, and a lot of people do not put tags on them or they are not microchipped, so it makes it very difficult to reunite them. And the worst thing that you could experience is to go through the holidays worried about your pet or the safety of your pet and wondering, you know, was it hit by a car? Was it picked up by a stranger? Is it frightened? It's, it's a family member and you wanna keep it safe. So a lot of people think, oh, that's a family member and I really wanna bring them to enjoy this special moment with us. But ultimately the best thing to do is to leave them at home so you can actually enjoy the holidays with them. Exactly because they may actually run off because they're scared, correct? Exactly, yeah. If the best thing you can do for your pet or your furry family member is to let them stay home in front of the in front of the heat in their bed waiting for you to come home so they'll be excited to see you and that way you can experience the joy of the tree lighting or the parade without worrying about what your animal is going to do. The possibility that a scared animal might actually bite someone because he's threatened or frightened. But a lot of people will say, my pet is friendly, it would never bite anyone. What if some think that's true? What is your advice on that aspect? So what I would say is the best thing they can do is to just stop and put themselves in the place of a scared animal because typically an animal that's frightened, whether it's it's a great family pet, because I have great pets that I would love to take with me, but I know that even the even the gentlest of cat or dog could snap at someone if it's frightened or somebody walks up or a loud noise or fireworks. So the best thing they can do is to not think about the animal being with them on that night, but to leave it at home and just be completely at ease that the animal's gonna be safe and wouldn't bite somebody because that poses an entirely different situation that they would not want to have to deal with. Wonderful. And who is this, Miss Judy? This is Fergie. Aww. She's a little 10-year-old girl that was surrendered to our shelter and she's headed off to see the vet to get some answers to some questions that are going on with her, but she's going to be a great little pet for someone. Wonderful. Well, and as a reminder to everyone, please come join us this Friday night for the wonderful tree lighting here at Church Street. We'll have great events such as ice skating, we'll have vendors, there'll be lots of food, and of course, we'll have special visitors there at City Hall. Come see us.